Hello everyone, welcome back to the stream. So today is Saturday, it's my first time streaming in the weekend, so I'm gonna do something chill. I'm gonna build in The Sims because I love building in The Sims and I thought it suited a Saturday afternoon. For me it's not really that... well the weather isn't that good, it isn't bad, it's not raining or storming or anything. It's just not that sunny, so I thought, why not build something cozy, use the new pack, try it out. So, that's what I'm doing. How was everyone's week? Um, I got the second dose of the vaccine this week, so uh, I'm super happy, I'm super stoked about that. Uh, I did feel really, really bad, like the day after. Uh, I genuinely got sick from, from the second dose, but I'm still like super super happy that I, I got the second dose of the vaccine. Um, I'm really glad that I took it, I'm really glad that I don't have to take it again anytime soon. Um, the fun thing is I was actually more stressed about driving to the location where I would get my vaccine rather than getting the vaccine um, because I'm a bit of a... well... I'm very scared of driving, let's just, let's just say it how it is. Um, I just got my license in November and um, for some reason I'm still terrified to drive and uh, it, it seems to get worse every time that I drive. So <laughs> uh, I'm just going to continue to do it. I actually uh, drove my car yesterday, I'm going I'm to drive my car tomorrow, so I'm doing it. I'm, I'm pushing myself, but it scares the heck out of me. <laughs> um, it's just there are so many influences around you so many other people on the road and i don't know why but it just it just stresses me other people can't drive and they stress me out um so <laughs> i had a bit of a weird week where i got the vaccine and i drove my car um which for me stressed me out a lot um and yesterday i actually went to uh like an attraction park like roller coasters and stuff so I had a lot of fun. I went with my family-in-law and we, we just had the entire day. Um, and it was super, super nice. So I really enjoyed that. I drove. It was like an hour drive. I drove. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, and yeah, this morning I just grafted some of my plants. I took care of my balcony garden. And now I'm about ready to just chill, play some Sims, build a house. And um, that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's go into game. And for some reason, my webcam doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? There we are. <laughs> I uh, installed the, the Stream Deck option uh, or the Stream Deck app on my iPad. And for like 95%, I'm super happy with it and it works like a charm and it was super easy to set up. But there's this one thing that I haven't really figured out yet. And it's like once you press a certain button, it gets grayed out. So it notifies you that you've pressed it. The problem for me is that I've uploaded custom pictures. So my stream deck is like aligned with my brand colors and stuff because that I don't know I really like that that just makes me happy um and then you can upload like two pictures one for like when you haven't pressed the button and one for when you have and they are swapped around on some buttons and I haven't really fixed it um so it just turned off my webcam source and I don't know why probably because I pressed something with like a multi-action or anything but I just set it up so it's all new for me I mean, it's like my fourth stream, so it's not like I'm a pro yet. Um, so yeah, it took like five seconds. And I also, um, I tried to fix my audio because I noticed last time when I watched my stream back that the audio was a little bit off. Um, I tried to fix it. I hope it's fixed. If my audio and video are really out of sync, well, I'll, I guess I'll just find out after stream. But in case you notice, please let me know in chat so we can work on it. I'm not even sure if I can work on it while I'm live, um, but I tested it with a video with like clapping and trying to fix it. So I'm re just really hoping that it's fixed. 
Um, and as you can see in that corner, <laughs> uh, I put up a picture of a, of a castle that uh, I really, really like. It's from Outlander. Uh, anyone here that also loves Outlander, let me know, because I'm a really big Outlander fan. Um, I absolutely love it. I think I watched the first four seasons, like last year, like right before the pandemic and stuff. And then during the pandemic, uh, season five came out, I think, I believe. Like from that moment, I was hooked. I'm reading the books. They're actually right behind me, right over there. <laughs> um, I'm reading the books. Um, I'm almost done with book number one and I already bought book number two. So um, I'm going to be reading Outlander. I absolutely loved the TV series. I absolutely adored the storyline, the characters, the film locations. I also bought the two behind the scenes books because I'm a bit of a film noob, film nerd. Um, I do some work besides my regular job and streaming and stuff as an executive producer. So for me, there is never enough behind the scenes content. Like legitimately, I want to know more and more and more. And now that I have like these books, and they have all of these stories behind certain scenes, behind certain lighting tricks. And for some reason, I was reading the book and I was still like, I want to know more. I want to know like what it was like to be there, to be on set and to be part of this. And um, yeah, obviously um, that will not happen <laughs> because you cannot read that from a book. You have to be there in person. So if any one of you knows someone that's working on Outlander and, you know, like to introduce me. Um, that would be legitimately the best thing that would ever happen to me. Um, I would absolutely love to work on Outlander or, or some similar show. Um, but yeah, to summarize, I'm a major Outlander fan. I absolutely love it. And I've been wanting to build something from that show for quite a long time. But I never felt that we had the right like textures or building items to actually do it in game. But now we do. So we have the new world. Hanford on Bagley. Which I think is perfect for this particular building. It's also the, the actual castle. It's called Mid Hope Castle. It's in Scotland somewhere. So it is in like the English Highlands. Um, or actually the Scottish Highlands. I must say it correctly. Um, <laughs> but it is in the UK. And obviously this new pack is very much UK inspired. Um, so I felt like this was the perfect world to build this castle. And I also really like the idea of that it's quite big and quite challenging. So we can easily spend at least one stream on it and maybe even two. So it's something that I can actually do on stream, which is nice because sometimes I build a house and I'm just done with it within like an hour and I have to do something else. So I really enjoy the idea of doing something that will take a while on stream as well. Um... And now all we have to do is pick the right lot. And I'm really doubting if I'm going to go for like one of the bigger lots. Because I I have the feeling that the castle is already pretty big. Um, so I'm I think 64, 64 is... I might, I might be testing myself <laughs> if I'm going to do a 64 by 64 lot. Uh, simply because I don't know. That's big. That's I did it once. I I once tried to build on a 64 by 64 lot. Um, in all other cases, I downloaded builds from the gallery for 64 64 lots because it's just not my cup of tea. So I'm guessing I'm either gonna go for this one or this one. And since this is still empty, I might just pick this one because that's nice that we don't have to demolish anyone's pretty builds. And I'm just going to see what I'm going to make of it. Okay. I think to begin with, this is a perfect lot. Especially, let me just look around. Yeah, this is perfect. This is very similar to the area that the, the original castle was in. With the hills and... Well... I don't think they would have had, like, roads for cars in that time. But, like, the, the stone fencing around it and... That is actually... I'm not kidding. There is this scene 
in Outlander where um, the mill isn't working because there is a shirt stuck in um, the wheel. It's perfect that this small building is right next to where we're building now because it's it's exactly like an Outlander. Well, the, I'm not sure if it's the same with like the bridge and stuff, but I have a feeling that, yeah, this is absolutely perfect. This location is absolutely perfect for what we want to build today. Okay. So first, let us make the lot entirely empty, just to be sure. And then the next thing that we need to decide is um, when I look at the picture, like the castle is turned sideways. So obviously you enter. Let me see. What is the front of the lot? Okay, so I can't really figure it out from this. Um, ooh, these could be the standing stones. <gasps> okay, this is turning into something way more perfect than I expected. Um, but let me see. That tiny little house. Where is that? I have the feeling that the entrance of the lot is actually on this side. Especially with the lighting and stuff. I could could as well just place a wall. And just check it out that way. I think that is going to save us an immense amount of time. Like, place two walls and then see how we can see them on the picture. Okay, so it is actually the other way around. But then my guess is, see, it's like this. Okay. Is that though? Yeah. Okay, so it's like this. Ooh, the rendering of the background is looking horrible. I think it's due to the lighting. Let me change the, the time of day. Well, it... <laughs> You know what it looks like, um, Teletubbies? This, it, it looks like the Teletubbies landscape. It is crazy. <laughs> you can just see the sun rising with a little face in it. You can hear, yeah, it's Teletubbies. Doesn't matter. I still think it's beautiful. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, but that means that this is the front of the lot. Let us place, like, something of a marker, because I'm gonna forget. Okay, so that's the front of the lot. So that means that I want to have the gate and stuff over here, and then I want the castle probably facing that way. And then my next doubt is, because I think, at least in the series, they, they're trying to give you the illusion that you... Uh, that they have some sort of like front area right in front of the castle where um, like Jenny does the laundry and they have I think some stables for the horses and and stuff and then they have this whole part I feel like is either on the side of the castle or out back where they have like the crop fields and the, the uh, animals and stuff where they keep the chickens and the cows and in the books there are a lot of stories about um uh, like Clara and Jamie that go to the stables or that hang out in um in like the crop fields or doing work and I feel like in the show they don't really show off that area um or not as at least not as much so I'm I'm just gonna have to guess what that's like so it might actually be fun to do like the house a little bit in the middle of the of the lot and then we can maybe even place it on a hill a little bit so like the pathway goes up and then on the back we make it lower so you have like a longer set of stairs that goes down so this house is like on a hill because this area around here is like it has a lot of hills so that could perfectly work okay so let me start by laying out the bases of this house I, it has like the two parts. I think it's small, like literally thinner. Then, okay. I find it very difficult to estimate how big it should be. I think it should be smaller even. Oh, 
I find this so difficult. I think this can be like the main part. So that's then like two floors high. And then we have the second part, which is just a tad wider, but it's also a lot less big on that side. My guess is it's like that, so one wider on each side, because that's why the roof will be taller. I have a feeling that this is too big. And usually the rule of thumb in The Sims is if it feels too big, make it smaller. Just for my own sake, I'm gonna make it smaller because it's... I already know it's gonna take me forever to furnish this. Okay. So let's roof it. And then we can see the measurements and stuff and if it makes sense. Because if we lay out the basic structure of the house, then I think after that we can... It feels like on the picture, it this one is like lower at least it doesn't have the the overhang and this feels taller and this feels lower it's just weird because the roofs well it feels like they have the same angle in the picture but they don't I also have the feeling that this floor is actually an entire floor taller. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Just like that. I think that looks way better. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Although I feel like this part is also three floors. Oh my God, is it three floors? It's three floors, isn't it? The next question is, do I want to do that? Do I want to give myself that much space? Because that's crazy. Okay, let me just at least put the chimneys on. Because I also think that... <laughs> you cannot place walls above the fourth floor. Since when? One, two, three. No. Four. Okay. But then this is like one, two, three. Oh, so this is already four. Oh, no. Okay, I have an idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one. Make this tall. And then I think I'm just going to make... Get rid of that. And do it like that. So it's still just the two floors. Instead of... And, but then it's just like very tall wall height. I might change it to the middle one. For some reason, I cannot deal with a very tall wall height. I just think it looks so ugly. Okay, and then they really don't have any roof trims on any of the sides. Okay, this is already more difficult than I expected it to be. So they have big chimneys, right? Yeah, big chimneys. Also on this side. Uh, I could have just copied that. That would have made more sense because then I would have been 100% sure that it's the same size. Okay. I have the feeling that this is just... It should be higher, like more floors. But then we can literally cannot do the chimneys. But I want to do it. I want to make it two floors tall. It just makes more sense. But then... Why do I find this so difficult? Okay. So let's see. 
See, because then the chimney just doesn't reach that high, and I cannot place another floor. I didn't know. I really didn't know you couldn't go above four. Has that always been the case? Let me look it up quickly. How many floors can you have in The Sims 4? You can have two underground levels. We could do that. Knowing that they have, I think, an underground kitchen or something in, in Ladibrock. Hmm. <sighs> what will you guys do? I mean... We could... Still make that two floors as well. And then just make the roof a little taller. Sometimes The Sims is so frustrating. We cannot, I keep forgetting it. Then there's this really weird opening over here. Do you see? Like, why? Why, why would that be there? That doesn't make any sense. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, I'm just gonna continue this way. I, I've made my decision. I'm just going to try to fix it this way. Um, again, I cannot... Oh, I can place it here, okay. Maybe we can make this tall. <gasps> that fixes everything, because we're not gonna build anything on the fourth floor anyways. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. And then the question is, do we do that here as well? Oh no, wait. Ah. Then I think this one is too tall, so I'm just gonna have use a half wall here. One of the other things I really wanted to try to do, but this is going to be very difficult. I'm gonna make it very difficult for myself. I wanted to do, like you see the like stair-shaped pieces on the side of the roof. I'm not sure if you can see it in this picture. Wait a second, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm going to show the bigger picture on my screen. Um, open image. Okay, quickly toggle my display capture. See, you they have like the... It's very old architecture style, like the stair-shaped sides. Um, I'm just seeing now that they also have like rounded pieces up here. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Simply, one, because we don't have rounded pieces, but also because I, even if I do it with, like, the corner pieces, it probably won't look this good. But I just wanted to try if I can do, like, the stair-shaped stuff on the side, and I think I know a way how. It's just, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm going to do it. Like, I think I know how, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. And previously, we weren't able to do this, but now that we have the new half walls I think we should be able to do it the only problem is I don't think I have enough I think I should start with this one and then go higher oh no hmm I was hoping for a more spectacular effect on this actually Maybe, again, we can start with this. Like, eventually you want to be very close to that height. Maybe we should start with something that is very close to that height and then work our way back. I think... Oh, no. I think that would make more sense. Then this feels super high. What if we do it, like, in two steps? So you have this... And then two further is this. And then two further is this. And then... Yeah, that makes way more sense. That's a little bit steeper. And then we just do like the lowest one all the way up here. Let's draw a square. 
just like that. And I also have the feeling that with them, like the chimney is sort of in the building. So it's actually right here. So it's not on the outside. Does that make sense? But then I feel like it should be way higher because it should be above the roof. Hmm. Or the roof should be a tad lower. I think that already helps. But then we have to use that one to at least get it somewhat close to the roof. And then we can do the roof like that again. We want to do it like that. I already took this out, right? Hmm. If we place a chimney inside, maybe it hides this roof piece. Let me see which one will match the most. I would obviously prefer to use one from the new pack because I think the style would fit the best. Um, let me quickly take out the roof because it's in my way. Take out that part and then move this up. And then place it like that and then maybe place a second one next to it. I think we're going to have to place three. And then just move it around a little bit to make it fit. Really trying. Okay, so it's clipping a little bit, but not in a way that it's going to bother me too much, to be honest. But I do want it to be perfectly aligned. Okay, and then I think the most important thing is, does it clip with the roof still? Okay, it doesn't. That's good. That's good. Hmm. I'm not sure what I think of this. Especially this part with the, the star shapes. Let me see. Maybe I'm going to do it higher anyways. Oh, that is the highest I can go. No, wait. Do you see this? If I select this one, 375, it draws it higher than it actually draws it. Is it the same as this one? No, see here there is a difference. But when I draw it up here, it, it doesn't make a difference. That's weird. Hmm. Because I would have to do this on all sides. Hmm. If I make everything one tile bigger, I can make this chimney a tile smaller and still have it centered, right? Or am I talking bullshit right now no I think that's actually the case let me try then we just have it's just a little bit bigger yeah then we can take one let's just let me just delete all of these for now we can actually make this and get rid of these as well, rid of that as well. Move that out of the way. And then we have an entire extra space to get to this height. Although to be fair, I would still very much prefer this to be like at least that low. Let me see, we chose this one, so that would be two steps, oh wait, two steps back. But that's the same height. Okay, so then let's say we do this, and then two steps back. Still the same height. Okay, so then we make it 
this big and then this one no wait okay that's actually shorter but that's not even that much shorter so we do that and then we do this and then we do this see then it starts way lower that feels more realistic and then I was thinking maybe we can do like that and then draw it out so it doesn't ruin oh no that <laughs> never mind that doesn't work I thought I had a brilliant idea and it turns out I didn't because this totally messes with hmm see as soon as it is as tall as the roof itself it just disappears and this would have to be a lot lower for this to work hmm gonna be one higher just one I'm not really sure if I like how that looks because now it just looks very wide and flat Hmm. I always do this. Like, I, I now doubt myself enough to not be sure what I should do. It does make sense to have a little bit more flat roofs. I also think it looks way better in The Sims. Hmm. Okay, and then we have to do like a copy of this part to here and then have the taller one. Uh, let me just move that quickly. So I have room to draw this last one, but it's going to be the same height, isn't it? Yeah, I already feared that. No, wait, please place on there yeah so it does give the effect a little bit but then this one should definitely be drawn with a shorter wall as well um, and it should just be too wide I think I don't get why then it here all of a sudden it's super tall Like, why can I not draw it that tall over there? I still think this looks pretty good. It's just, I really want, want it to be, like, have that one be tall as well. Like, taller than the one next to it. Oh no, what am I doing? But for some reason, it, it won't go that tall. Hmm. I don't hate that. Maybe we can draw it now. Because it said something about having the taller wall height. I thought I heard my cat meow. But it, she didn't. <laughs> And just kids playing outside. Um, and I feel like I'm really dark, so... Just going to fix that real quick. There we go. Should be lighter now. Um, I don't hate the idea of the second floor being tall as well. It's just... I mean, we, we will be able to finally use some windows that I'm normally never able to use but do look really good so okay no let's just quickly move it out of the way so we can copy and paste it to this side as well it frustrates me though that for some reason um you're not able to use the taller uh wall thingies Oh, wait. Because I'm now on the fourth floor, right? No, third floor. This also on the third floor. Let me see. Can I now use them? Yes. 
Okay, perfect. No. That isn't the same, is it? This one is higher. I just delete this and then copy this and then turn it around. I see why. This should be one smaller because I obviously changed the size. Okay, that is starting to make sense, but then that shouldn't be that tall, but we can fix that. And then this should be able to be taller as well. Right, no, that. <gasps> okay, so this looks like we're fixing it. Place the roof back. And then we... I just heard that it's actually starting to rain outside. Oh, I like that. I like that feeling of having the raindrops outside and enjoying coziness inside, playing Sims. I really like it. Okay. So now all of the chimneys are the same height. And that's the only thing I really don't like. Because therefore this roof doesn't feel lower than this roof. So can we change the... I, I think this is already... Oh no. This is already the shortest one, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Okay, so what if we give the other two a little more height? Sometimes I really wonder why my Sims does that. It's like, it feels like it, the buttons are stuck. Okay, just maybe one more. Imagine living in this time and actually having this many chimneys. Oh no, that doesn't work with... This is actually pretty difficult. Is this higher? Just a tad. But then it's still... If I raise the roof, it's still gonna be weird. Well, maybe if I use this one. Rather use that one that's a little closer though. Okay. Okay. So you. This roof is really in the way if you're trying to fix stuff like that. Um, so right here we use the tallest. Aw, thank you, Chicola. I'm really trying. It's. it's really difficult. <laughs> I'm trying to recreate something. I'm trying to recreate the Lallybrock castle from Outlander. And I really wanted to do this roof thing with like this stair-shaped stuff. Um, because I think it's very characteristic for the building. But for some reason I'm really struggling with it. Um, but I am really enjoying what I'm making. Although what frustrates me is that these sides are not the same anymore. So I'm just going to copy paste them to make it easy for myself. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I re I'm really happy that you think it's good. <laughs> By the way, talking about that, I'm going to save because I already spent quite some time on this. I already spent 45 minutes on just this. <laughs> it's just still a gray box. <laughs> oh... Um, but yeah, I think it's the outside, it's getting somewhere. It's starting actually to look a little bit like the picture. I think the next big thing is that we have to make the gate. But I'm doubting if I first want to do... Because I was thinking I might want to put it on like a hill. And, um, like raise the house a little bit and then have the pathway go up. And then have the front of the house be, house be higher than the back of the house. But I'm, I'm doubting if I'm not just making it way more difficult for myself. <laughs> but hey, that's also fun, right? <laughs> I'm already making it difficult for myself by actually building this house at all. So I might also just accept the fact that I'm making it difficult for myself. The only thing is I don't think... Yes, this does move as an entire structure. 
Okay, so if I want to do it, I have to do it now. If I want to do the making it higher. Hmm. I think I will do the interior, yeah. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do it today on stream. Because I'll probably take forever just doing the outside and the landscaping. Um, and I also think I want to spend a little more, more time on researching what the inside should look like. Because I'm... I usually build very modern houses in The Sims and, th and stuff, so I th I will have to give it a lot of thought to do like a period piece. Um, so I think I want to research a little bit like what would be appropriate furniture and I might even download some custom content for it if I really want to go all out and go for it and actually recreate something that fits with that time. Um, but I would absolutely love to do the interior as well. I think it would be a super fun challenge for me to take the time to figure out a way to do that. Because like I said, I usually don't do it. Um, so yeah, like you say, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go all in. <laughs> I'm just gonna go nuts. I'm gonna do like a thousand fireplaces, a very old fashioned kitchen, um, really tried. Maybe I make it even like off the grid so that if people download this from the gallery, they can actually play it like a period piece where you have don't have electricity. Although I'm I'm not 100% sure if I will do like everything with candles and n not use any lights because that's the only thing in The Sims that is quite difficult to do. But I might do it. But yeah, I, I definitely want to furnish it. I think it's a lot of fun to do that. Have you watched Outlander? Have you seen the show? Or are you just really enjoying the style of building? Um... Okay, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to see if I will be able to to do this. Um, okay, so I want to make it higher. I think I want to do it with the square one. I'm really bad at using train tools. I'm just warning everyone. Oh, thanks. Thanks. It's actually cooler to hear when someone hasn't seen the show and they just think it looks good. Because if you've seen the show, you kind of feel nostalgic, and I, th well, at least I would have that if I would see someone build something from Outlander, I would be super excited simply because it's just from Outlander. So it's actually a really big compliment that you haven't seen it and you still really like the building because that means that I'm, I'm doing something well. <laughs> so thank you. Um, and this is a, a warning up front that I'm really bad at using the train tool. Uh, ooh, that that's big. So we're just going to try and see if we, we can make it work. I think I'm going to have to turn on the grid as well. Oh no, don't go that high. And then like later on, I'm just going to flatten the lot as well. Like flatten what I've been... This is a bad explanation. I'm going to make flat what I've been raising. <laughs> That's not a good explanation of what I mean. But... Like, make sure that it's um, higher but flat. Because this is obviously not something that we can work with. Um, the question is where, on what level. I think this would be nice. And then we can smoothen it out on this side. So we can make like a, a walkway. Uh, like a path to the front door. Okay. And then on the back of the house, we can also smoothen it out a little bit. But I think we first have to place the house back. So that's actually on a flat part of the lot. Um, okay. And then the question is, do I have to raise it up even further? I think so. I think something like that would work. Right? Um, yeah, for now that's fine. That looks horrible, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so I want to move this house back. And then I think we just... I think it's nice if we move it a little bit farther away. Oh no. Why is it doing that? Uh-oh. 
I don't think I've seen this before. I think it's because I placed this part. Like, not on the hill. See, this is why I never use train tooling or anything. Oh no, why would it do that? I'm not gonna rebuild the entire house just to put it higher up, I think. Okay, now I do get why when I watch other people's stop motion videos, they always start with like laying out the ground and then building. I now get that. Makes sense. Um, yeah, so what are we going to do about this? <laughs> I really like the idea of it being up higher. We can also put it... I know what I'm going to do. Let me see. I'm going to put it on a foundation, like quite a high foundation. And then we can manipulate the train around the house. So let me just place it back. Just gonna do control Z. Okay. No. Okay, like that. Um. And the idea was that this is like the front of the house. So you come up with like a walkway with a path. And then you, here you have the front of the house with like the stables. And um, I don't know, some, some places to do like hang out the laundry and stuff. And then here in the back, they will have like a crop field and maybe some stables for like uh, some sheds for cows and stuff. Um, so that's what I was thinking. Mm, but then this feels a little bit like wasted space, to be honest. But we maybe we, we can probably create something cute, like maybe a place where they can sit or something, maybe with benches or maybe with a tree or anything. Um, hmm, or do I want to place it like a little bit more to the front of the lot? I'm really trying to already like envision what I'm going to build after so I don't have to move it when I'm farther along in the build. I might do that because then we also have more space here in the back to also do like a larger crop field and stuff that makes more sense. Okay, I think I want to do the iconic gate right now. Um, and I think I will just make it like, um, like one tile wide. Um, and then something like that. And then we, we can do something similar like what we did with the half walls up here where the highest one is something like that, I guess. Um, and then this should be one wider, so it's even. I don't remember which one I picked. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay. And I think I'm going to do the, the two around again. Like that. Oh, no. Let's see. Yeah, just like that. Do this. And then I'm going to try something. I'm not sure if that works. But like do a platform on the inside. Yeah, that looks perfect. So it's actually filled up. So it feels like it's, it's like a thick wall. Um, let's see. Not one more. That's good. And then do it like that. So this way it's actually like a thick gate. And then we have to figure out a way to do like a big archway. Mm, I think I'll just have to use something like this. But we can, well not the tallest wall height, but we have the, the high walls. This just feels too Roman. Hmm. I don't like using stuff from vampires because it's really, it's, it, this feels too, like, dungeon-y. But it does have the right vibe to it. Like, with the stone and the brick and... Let me see. What else? Okay, so let's place this. So this is 
one of the contenders. Then we just have this very simple wooden one. Um, I think this is way more dramatic and fits better with a castle. But I think this is a little less of a statement piece. We could use this one, although I think it's a bit wide. But, let me see. That actually might work. Because it's the same width as this part of the... Ooh, wait a second. Yeah, the white one? I might do that. I think it makes sense. I think for the style and the vibe that I'm going for with this build, this one does make the most sense. And then I I think I want to close it off like that, so you don't... It actually feels like, like an archway. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this. I think it makes sense. And now we have to find the right brick. I think the original brick is a is quite red, to be honest. I also have to find some I think they have like the family weapon up here, so I think I will use something from like university or anything. Like that pack has some of the um, uh, wall hangings that will really fit. Actually, I might start with that first. I'm really postponing selecting wallpaper. <laughs> I'm not the best at selecting right colors. Oh, don't worry, you're actually pretty chatty, so I really enjoy it. Thank you. Um, and don't worry, I'm already really happy that you're hanging out here. And uh, I I do that too a lot, like doing stuff and then watching people on, on Twitch. So uh, I totally understand. It's actually one of the good things to do in the weekend. So I hope you are enjoying one, the stream, but also enjoying what you're doing. Um, and you're not doing work that you don't enjoy. Hey, Snake Eyes, welcome in. How are you doing? Or actually, it's Snake Eyes John. I have to read your username correctly. Welcome in. How is your day going? We are building uh, the Lallybrook Castle from Outlander. And in the last hour, this is the progress I've made. <laughs> um, and I've really been struggling with like the, the pieces on the roof and the pieces here. With, like, the stair-shaped stuff. Oh, nice. I know that feeling of a side hustle. But as long as it's fun, that's the most important thing, right? As long as you enjoy what you're doing. That's good. I wonder, can I delete the floor? Yeah, but that looks... Terrible. Thanks for asking. I'm also doing really good. I'm happy to hear that you're also doing good. I, um, oh no, I got the second dose of the vaccine this week, so I'm actually really happy about that. Um, but I was also very stressed because I had to drive my car there, and for some reason I get really stressed if I have to drive. So it was a bit of a weird week with a lot of excitement where I got the second dose of the vaccine, um, and on the other hand I was really stressed by uh, because I had to... Uh, um, I had to uh, drive my car, so. But now I'm really doing really well. I really love, uh, like this the Sunday, sorry Saturday. It's Saturday, Saturday afternoon chill, playing some Sims, hanging out on stream. I'm just seeing because the ground here looks weird. But later on, I think I want to use some train paint to paint a pathway. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it with lighting. No, I cannot. Okay. That is a little bit of a disappointment. Hmm. I have an idea. Because I think it's just a, a lighting issue. What if I just delete that? And then place this back. Will that work? The only question is, how am I going to place this back if there is no... Hmm. But it is a lighting issue. See, if I delete this, the problem is almost solved. We still have the weird line, but that's not too bad. What my cat's name is, I actually have two. I'm actually sitting in front of one of them. 
So wait, let me move my mic a little bit. And then move it back because otherwise you cannot hear me. I got two cats. Um, actually, the, the one that you can see right behind me, her name is Suus, um, which is a Dutch name, so it might sound a bit weird for you guys. Um, that was actually already her name when we adopted her from the pet shelter. Um, and the other cat, you saw the, the orange one, her name is actually Baloo from uh, Jungle Book. But I don't know why, I, I just named her that because her old name was Benta. And I, I don't know, it didn't feel like a cat's name, so I decided to change it, but I wanted the name to start with the same letter. Because I didn't know at the time if she was used to her name already, so I wanted something that sounded the same. Uh, so I named her Baloo, but then <laughs> we sort of started giving her nicknames, so it became like Baluche, and then it was like Baluche Petuche, and somewhere along the line her name just changed to Toot. So we just called her Toot. <laughs> like a like a horn on a car like toot um and that just stayed her name and we we trained her so well that she actually only listens to that name so the only um day i that i use her full name which is balu the only day that i use it if we go to the vet um and i have to tell them for which cat i have an appointment because otherwise i just we call her toot and she listens to it and my boyfriend you um she uh, makes a lot of songs with her name <laughs> and like with um just the four letters it works very well in like smaller songs and just like child's rhymes and stuff so she has a bunch of her own songs <laughs> um, but yeah her name is toot and the other one is Seuss. so they both have like uh four letter names which is pretty easy to uh one remember and two to say when you have to condition them and tell them that they are naughty because they're cats so they do all kinds of stuff that they're not supposed to do like climbing your curtains and like scratching your couch and stuff. But yeah, they're the best. They're really, really cute. They have been with me for three and a half years now, almost. Um, and I, I don't think I can ever imagine living without cats. It's just cats are, they bring so much like joy and... I really like they bring a lot of comfort when I when I have a bad day I always find like comfort and happiness and just cuddling with my cats and just hanging out with them and they always I don't know what it is with cats but they seem to feel it when you're not doing well so they come like cuddle a little bit extra they purr like a little louder to let you know that everything's gonna be okay and that's what I love the most about cats I am a true cat mom. Like, legitimately, I'm what I like a sucker for cats. Wait, I have an idea on how to fix this. No. <laughs> She's gonna go back and forth, isn't it? I thought, what if I just like move it one? Oh, nice. What is your cat's name? I'm gonna call you John if that's okay. Then I don't have to say your entire name all the time. Um, but what is your cat's name? And is it a boy or a girl? And how long have you had him or her? Um, I always want to learn about other people's cats. I just love hearing about other people's stories. Um, maybe if I just quickly take out this wall. Can I then do it? Probably not, can I? No, it's just gonna move. Is it because of the platforms? What if I just take those out for a hot minute? And then I remove the ceiling. Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna struggle with this for a while. That's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, no, that's the wrong height. R still wrong height. Yeah, that's correct, okay. See, but then it's gonna close it again. And I don't think we can place a platform in it. See, because there, there's no floor. We could keep it open. I mean, it's not that bothersome. It's just, it looks weird compared to those two. <sighs> Why in The Sims do you always have to come up with solutions for like weird bugs that are in the game? 
Like, I have the greatest idea on how to build this. Like, I finally figured it out with, like, platforms and half walls, and I made it work. <laughs> and then somehow, it doesn't work. Not because of how it looks, but simply because of the lighting and the glitches. Um... If I make this room smaller, wait, I have, okay, I have yet another idea. And we, on that one, we, I said I build a ceiling and then there is no ceiling. Remove ceiling. Build ceiling. There is no ceiling. The Sims is lying again. Ah, Timon. From the Lion King. That's cool. I like it. I really like it if... Um, cats have names from Disney films. Partly because I'm, I just really love Disney films. Um, but especially from Timon and Pumbaa, I really like the idea of... Because cats have like that same character or behavior. It matches with their personality, I think. I only saw The Lion King recently, though, for the first time. Which is actually... It's a bit shameful to admit. Um, because, because it's one of the most, like, well-known Disney films. Um, but, uh, I, when I was younger, I used to tell my mom to put it off, um, when, like, Simba's dad died. Because it would make me cry so bad, and it would make me super sad, and then I would just tell my mom to turn it off because I didn't like the movie. So I think it took me until one and a half year ago, maybe two years ago, like, when did the um, live-action version came out? And then my boyfriend really wanted to go see it in the cinemas, and I agreed because I felt like I should watch the movie at some point. Um, and I remember I was sitting next to this 11-year-old girl, and then that moment came in the movie again, where obviously Simba's dad dies. And <laughs> I was crying in the cinema, not like shedding a tear, no, legitimately crying out loud. And there was this 11-year-old girl sitting next to me. I, I, I'm guessing she was 11. I'm not sure. Maybe she was a little bit older or younger. And I reached over for my back to grab some tissues because I was, like, ugly crying. Like, tears all over my face. Mascara going all over the place. Um, so I, I reached over for my back to grab some tissues. And I looked at her during the movie. And she looked back at me like, Woman, what are you doing? You're a grown-up. Get it together. <laughs> and somehow, like, on one part, that really made me laugh. On the other hand, I was still crying because the film was so sad. And that moment is just so heartbreaking. And I don't know what it is, but especially since a few years back, I had to put one of my cats down because, uh, like, one of my previous cats. Because she had, like, bone cancer in her jaw. So... I don't know what it is, but with like cat creatures, like lions or tigers, when I see them dying, it just reminds me of that moment. So it was like double painful. And yeah, I, I it took a while before I had myself pulled back together again. Like just all like a full cinema. And I mean, there were other people like shedding a tear, maybe sniffling a little bit. But yeah, I was the only person full on crying and there was this whole room full of kids and I, a grown woman just losing it. Oh well. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I'm just going to keep it like this because eventually it makes way more sense with the light. There's one thing I want to test though. I'm just realizing if we're going to put this on a foundation, this will also go, well, doesn't matter. We'll be okay. Um, let's just do the round one and then like some, I think in the original one it's like dirt. Just do something like that. Oh no, this one. Just want to see if it will. <laughs> I'm glad you guys can laugh about it too. Oh yeah, of course you go open the door. Getting packages is very important. I, I understand the excitement of receiving something that you ordered, being excited. So go, go get it. Um, but I'm happy that I made you guys laugh with that story. <laughs> it took a, a while before I could laugh about it. At, at first, I was just mostly like, not super, 
just a little bit ashamed. Especially since that 11 year old girl was just... I don't think I've seen anyone staring like that before. She was just like... Not even mad. Just irritated. Like, woman, I'm trying to watch a movie. Be quiet. So yeah. Since then, I just accepted the fact that almost every Disney film makes me cry like a baby. Okay, so we wanted to put it on quite a high foundation. Oh no. Oh, that looks terrible. Then we can st- Oh, how did I not think about this? If I put it on a foundation, then obviously <laughs> this will move up as well. Okay, I think I'm abandoning the idea of, of making the, the grounds higher. Ooh, that's cool, Chicola. Nice. I, I get why you would be excited with for that. I mean, that sounds really cool. I know nothing about tarot cards, to be honest. Like, I know what they are. And for some reason, they've always intrigued me. But I've never really researched it or actually looked into... Um, like, are there differences in, in tarot cards? Are there, like, certain types or certain decks that you can get or is it mostly about the aesthetics and how they look but do they serve the same purpose because i really don't know but i'm actually pretty interested because i i don't know why but they really intrigue me okay they mean the same Um, I wanted to look into that family weapon. Uh, let me see, from university. University. See, something like this. That would make sense, right? But these cards I got is the traditional Raiders black and white and Raiders colored. Okay. And is that like, so it's mostly about how they look. I don't know what my, my music just <laughs> full on went to shuffle mode after the current album I was listening to. I don't like this music. Let me quickly select something else. Uh, we're just going to listen to Stardew Valley. I think that really matches with uh, what we're building right now. Oh, it's the original set. Cool. That's really cool. Like, how did you learn to read them? Is it... Like, I'm really interested. <laughs> is it something that you... Like, you can take a course in? Or is it something that you learn online? Or from a book? I really don't know. <laughs> I think I might as well place one on this side, too. Oh, the guidebook. Okay, that makes sense. I, it feels like something that feels more authentic to learn from a book rather than to watch videos online, to be honest. It feels like a topic that matches with learning it from a book, if that makes any sense. I also just see now that for some reason... Um, I, I should have like a currently playing music widget. Uh, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before. I'm gonna try to fix something while streaming <laughs> and go into editing modus. Um, but I'm gonna switch scenes so you might actually see that. I don't think you can actually, I put it in, okay. This is new. I'm very still relatively new to streaming and, and fixing stuff while I'm live is very new to me. Um, because this should work. And I don't understand why it's not. I think because the application might be... Um, okay, I have to quickly check something. 
Okay, so it's up and running again. And there it is. Okay. I fixed it. So now I can go back to my main view and then turn off studio mode. And now you cannot see my game. Oh no, did I break something? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm on my on the wrong scene. There we are. Okay, learned from that. Try to fix stuff before you, <laughs> you're like back on your main screen. Um, you went to an antique store and the woman showed your secret room. You looked around and a book fell on the ground behind me. That, that is legit a really cool story. I mean, I agree with you. If, if stuff like that happens, then it's meant to be. Like, then, then you just... Some, something or someone is telling you to do it. <laughs> mm. I have this with like gemstones. On one hand, I'm not like a full believer in like the power of gemstones or anything. Just I think my nature is a little bit too skeptical on that topic. On the other hand, they really intrigue me and I really like reading about them. And I really like reading about like your birthstones and stuff. And I recently really got into when I buy jewelry, it has to have the current like the correct birth stone in it so for me that would be um i i think it's labradorite and lapis lazuli i'm not sure if that's the correct english terms as well but that's the dutch words um and i don't know why but for some reason as like the moment i decided that i took an interest in the topic i now cannot do like buy jewelry with the wrong stones anymore just like just in case it's it's true or just in case that it does something or makes you better or actually having the wrong stones will make you not feel anything or not feel good or not feel positive i want to have the right ones yeah i'm dutch are you dutch too is it again one of these coincidences where there is another dutchie in my chat because that would be cool uh, and otherwise yeah i'm dutch <laughs> um i i have people had uh, that told me that I was, uh, that my accent sounds very Dutch, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, garnet. That's also really pretty. Mm. Wait, let me quickly look it up because I'm not like 100% sure I have the right stone. Uh, let me see. Oh, Norwegian. Oh, I really, really, really want to go to Norway sometime. That has been like a, a on my bucket list for a very, very long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have the right, right stone in mind. You know what Garnet reminds me of? The um, Philosopher's Stone from Harry Potter. It's such a gorgeous stone. Like for me personally, I don't think red would really suit me. Um... So I'm happy that like blue really suits me. So I'm really happy that Lapis Lazuli is one of my birthstones. Um, but yeah, Garnet is really beautiful. Yeah, I you can actually look it up pretty easily, but maybe Chikala can help you out. If you're from December, if your birth month is December, then you have the same ones as I have. Um, because I was born in December. No, you can't? <laughs> I thought maybe maybe you had knowledge on the topic. Since you knew what your own birthstone was. But you can actually look it up pretty easily. I think at one point I just googled mine. Um, because Not necessarily because I wanted to know what my birthstone was. But mostly because I wanted to know um, the names of the stones. Because I wanted to buy new jewelry and I wanted to to select stones that I really liked. And I went to a website where they um, had everything sorted by gemstone. So I needed to know what gemstone was what. And then I fell into the rabbit hole of reading about it for hours and hours. Okay, let me see if I can continue to work on this. I think it's time we actually pick 
a brick for the wall. Hmm. So we have I I have a feeling that the new the brick from the new pack would really match this, but then I have to I feel like this is a little bit too brown. I would like it to be a little bit more reddish and that feels too light. Ooh, diamond. That is a good birthstone to have though. That is cool. Diamond is a really, really cool one. Nice. Okay, so I'm... I'm doubting because I think something lighter than this one... It's just the only this brick has like the more reddish tone to it. And I think this is just, it's too... Like, it's not fine enough. Like, the, the bricks, compared to the picture, those are, like, more classic bricks. So, more something like this, but then more red. So, my guess is we're gonna have to find something from another pack. Hmm. This, this feels too modern. Too, like, New York loft vibes to me. Hmm. Again, doesn't feel old enough. It has to be like, that's the good thing about the new pack. It looks a little bit worn, like lived through. I really like this one too, but it's also too light. Maybe if I, the risk of filtering on red is that it's going to be very, very, very red. Are they strongly related? Like, I don't know, this might be um, an assumption on my side, but I have a feeling that like tarot cards and birth zones and chakras and stuff that at least I think people that are interested in one of the topics are usually also a little bit interested in the others or have a feeling that um, it relates to each other or is it like something totally separate and doesn't have any relation to each other? Um, I don't, I really don't know, but I'm actually curious to learn about it. Hmm. Yeah, see, it's this is literally called lofty brick, so I don't think that's. And this is this is too worn. This has gone way too white. Yeah, I can understand. It also makes sense that you at first you're just mostly focused on one of the topics because I think there's so much to learn about these things that um, you can already spend so much time in just learning about one of the topics. I just. Uh, have the feeling that, or at least that's the case for me, that when you're like slightly interested in, in one of the topics, the other topics pull you more probably than uh, a lot of other people who haven't heard of any of those things before. Um, oh yeah. Five years and still a beginner. I can imagine. I can imagine there's so much to learn about it. I have that with some things in my life as well, like, you've been doing it for quite a while and you still feel like you have so much to learn. Hmm. No, that's too dark. Then this is too light. Okay, I might just go with, like, the newer bricks from the new pack and then just accept that it's not as red. Because the picture, like, from, if I think back about the show it feels like in the show it was also less red so it's maybe just this picture that makes it relatively red um, and then the question is well I think this is too light but this is too gray we might just go for this one then Does that make sense? Does that feel right? 
I also really have to change the roof. Because the current texture doesn't look... Doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're also going to have to fix the... Um, the chimneys. Because currently they... They just end open. In the beginning, I thought, you know, tarot was quite easy, but just turning cards and stuff. But I'm a tarot club and some of the members who have been doing it for many, many years taught me so much. It is really cool, though, that you're actually also learning from other people who are doing it. I think, in my experience, that is one of the best ways to learn. And also that you, you're, like, open to it, learning that way. I think that's pretty cool. I really, really think that's cool. Um, where is the one from the new pack? Here. I have to choose the right color. I think this will do. Oh, no. Don't press the wrong buttons. Oh, it's up too high. I don't like that. And then we're just going to have to raise it until, yeah, until that point. Okay. Perfect. I think in the picture it's, it's less obvious that they have chimneys like this, but from my memory from watching the show, I think it looks, it looks like this. Um... Let me see. After I've placed this chimney, I'm also just quickly going to put the another music album in the queue to prevent <laughs> the situation we had like uh, 20 minutes ago. Um, oh, this is about two hours, this playlist. Really? Stardew Valley music is about two hours? It's crazy. Just add to queue. I just added the entire album to the queue. Also, when I do, I know I have a small empty room in my apartment I use. Nice. It's good to have a separate space for that, I can imagine. I have the same with like, I know like streaming and reading tarot cards are super different, but... Hey! Thank you for following Snakey Eyes, John. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Enjoy your food. I will see you later. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And thanks for following. I just see that I have two stream bots active. So you got a, a thank you two times. <laughs> and a thank you for me. So you got a thank you three times for following. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but uh, Chicola, I, like I was saying, I... Streaming is something totally different from, uh, obviously, from reading tarot, but uh, I also have, like, my separate room set up where I have my computer and where I have, um, uh, like, my lights and everything. And, like, this place is made to feel chill and game and hang out with people online. Um, and I get why you want to have a, a separate space for some activities rather than doing it, like, in your living room or... Um, I don't know, somewhere else in your house, because you just need to create a space that matches with what you want to do. And if you need to, uh, like, cleanse the air, or in my case, have, like, good lighting and stuff, again, it's something very different. But it really helps if you have a separate space to do some activities in your house. Um, so it makes total sense. And it's actually really nice that you have the, the opportunity and the room to do that. You can actually do it in your house. I think that also makes it an activity that um, is easy to keep on practicing. Your apartment is is a bar? Like, a, a legit bar just for you? Or, like, other... Like, a bar where other people can go as well? Because on one hand, that sounds really cool. But on the other hand... That must be crowded. Damn. <laughs> I think we need to fix these wide roof trims because they're... 
looking really ugly. And I, I think we need to do something about this part, because this is... I mean, we can at least make that brick. Then we need to do something about these sections. Um... Ooh, no, no, that was bad. Oh, that's just the color they already have. That brown. Well, that, that, that would make sense, I think. Mm. Let me see. I think something like similar to this brick on the top would make sense. I'm not sure if we have that. Ooh, that no, that's the wrong color. Mm. That this is actually this color is the perfect red for the outside. It's a public bar. Like I have a lot of tables and such around. I have a pretty big apartment and the garden has a space for a few tables as well. <laughs> and I made it into a hookah lounge. Nice. But that's like, okay, one, really cool, two, how did that happen? <laughs> like, did you on purpose found, like, find a bar to live in because you wanted to run a bar? Or was it something that sort of just happened where you lived and then decided to do it? Um. Oh, nice. You networked your way into it. That is so smart. Just asking friends and, and family and stuff to come hang out. That's really smart. I just see that there's one missing here. Like a wall. Mm. Let's see. Can we fix that? That's too high, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's better. Uh, the darker brown again. Um, I have a feeling that that teeny white part that you can see is probably because... Yeah, see? Now it's fixed. That was just on the inside. Um... Okay, I have to find a brick that will match. So maybe, oh no, that's, that's wallpaper. A floor tile that matches with this. I don't think we got any, apart from this one, we, no, we didn't get any other floor tiles. Hmm. That might actually work. Like, that color is at least similar enough. Oh no, that is clipping. Okay, we gotta fix that. I think we're gonna have to do the inverted roof thingy. That actually looks better. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better. And then... Okay, so from here on... It's going to get challenging because I cannot see everything on the picture anymore. Uh, you moved apartments. Okay. Uh, small place. Nice. That is cool, though. That is actually really cool. I'm, like... Genuinely impressed. <laughs> like that you got that idea and then just did it. That's really impressive. And it's really nice that you managed to like do it with... Like start out with just inviting over your friends and... And that they actually enjoyed it so much that they would invite their friends. And that you can now just almost live from that. Like, 70% of your monthly income is a lot. And you just build that yourself. That's pretty damn awesome. Let me see. 
I just wanted to paint the inside as well. And I'm just quickly going to click that away because I really, I'm one of those people who cannot handle notifications and like red pings. Okay, so this side of the castle doesn't have any windows. Hmm. I'm quickly going to see if I can um, mid-hope castle. Quickly going to see if I have like some pictures that have a slightly different perspective on the house. Mm. Especially like right behind the gate. It's currently pretty difficult to estimate what it looks like or... Um, and where the door is. Like if the door goes into this part of the building or this part of the building. Hmm... Okay, so it looks like the door is like right over here. So on the bump outside of the building. Like here we get paid to go to school. Where are you from? <laughs> I have to ask. Like, feel free to not tell me if you don't feel comfortable telling me where you're from don't worry you don't have to tell me but Denmark I gotta move to Denmark <laughs> you get paid to go to school one that is super cool because okay I remember being in university and wanting to live on my own and really struggling to have like a job and go to school and study for everything, have a social life um, outside all of that. And I think it's pretty cool that you get paid to go to school because it, it's a big motivator for people to stay in school and not drop out or maybe not even go to school because they have to pay bills and stuff. Um, I think it's really cool. I, to be honest, I think in like Nordic countries, from what I hear, obviously I don't live there and I haven't been there, so this might be a completely wrong judgment, but um, I work at a company where we have uh, um, an office in Denmark and Nor uh, Norway as well. And fr from what I hear, one, it's pretty darn expensive to live, <laughs> but at the same time, the social systems are super, super good. So drinking a beer will cost you a lot. <laughs> but at the same time, there are really good schools. Like education is really good. Healthcare is really good. Um, like social systems for people that are out of a job or don't have work are really good. And I think those things are so, so, so important. Um, and I, I just hear really, really good stories about it. Um, so... I'm not sure if it's actually, if it's the case, if, it, if it's true, but um, I wanted to do like stairs, but this house is not on a foundation, but we might be able to fix that by like placing the entire inside on a small platform, especially since we have the tall wall height. I don't think that would hurt. Okay, so let us choose windows first, because window placement is going to be a thing on this house. Hmm. My mouse is acting up. I think there's something on my desk. I sometimes have that, then my mouse just, for some reason, goes nuts. Um. So, obviously, in the show, this is not meant to be a super... Um, high-end house so it is a castle that belongs to one of the um what is it called lairds of the area uh so my guess is that they they do have some money like they live in a fancier house than average in that time but they wouldn't have windows like this like this is this is too chic and too roman area for them um, so I'm gonna have to find something that 
matches with the aesthetic of this house, matches with the building, but isn't too much. I think I would like windows like these, somewhere on like the garden side. If that makes sense. Obviously here they're from steel, and in that time they would probably be um, wooden. Uh, when we take an education, we get an SU, which helps students live on their own if they live far away from their schools. But it's because, we, yeah, you pay a lot of taxes. One beer is one to four, uh, three to four euros. Is that like r just a regular beer? Because I'm really trying to compare it to like Dutch prices. And recently... <laughs> Bars have noticed that due to the pandemic, when everyone wants to go out, they really enjoy drinking. So I have the feeling that the price of beer has gone up a lot. But yeah, I think our cheapest beer is a lot cheaper than three to four euros. If if you get just like a simple uh, Heineken beertje, which is gross, it tastes like people put more water than beer in that glass, but it will probably cost you, depending on the bar you're at, if you're like at a student bar, it's like 150 probably. And otherwise it's like 250, I guess, for like a small glass. But most of our beers are also like sp special beers. Um will we'll probably be around somewhere between like four and seven euros, I would say. Um But yeah, you guys, I think you guys pay a lot more taxes than we do. Um but yeah, you, you do get something in return. So it's a little bit like both sucks. <laughs> like it sucks to pay a lot of taxes. At the same time, it also sucks to have no social system. Like when I look to America and I see what people have to go through there when they have to go to a hospital and, and they literally cannot go because they cannot pay for it. Um, I think that's also not a good way to live. I'm thinking of changing this back. I don't like the dark brown. Mm. I think I just... I like it better this way. Like the same as there. You're going to the Netherlands in October? That's cool. Just like on holiday for fun or are you going for any like business related stuff? And where are you going in the Netherlands? Like any particular uh, cities you cities you're going to visit. Mm, platform. I was looking for a platform. Mm, this one. I think if we make it like too high. Remember when I said I was going to choose windows? Then I got really distracted. <laughs> one, two. Okay, this should be the same height right now. I feel like it would make sense for them to have like windows with the I don't know what they're called Sh -sh shutters that's what they're called business and going to Amsterdam nice have you been before or is it your first time first time cool let me think, is there anything that I can really recommend? Will you have some free time? Or is it like coming and then arranging some business and then going again? Because if you have some time, I will see if I can think about something that is cool to do. I have been to Amsterdam a couple of times, actually. I have friends living there, so I go there quite often. Mm, oh wait, platform paint is this one, this category. Mm, that feels right about. Uh, to work one of the days I'm there for the seven. Ooh, okay, so you will have some free time. That's cool. Um, let me think. One of the things I can highly, highly recommend. Uh, one because it's not too touristic yet. But also because it's just a really cool area of Amsterdam to explore. 
is um, if you take the boat from Central Station to the north side of town, um, it's called the... Um, let me look it up. Uh, what it's called in English. Uh, M D S M and the ism uh i'm just going to place it in chat because it's called the ndism verf but i don't know what the what like the last part of the name is is in um so it's it's this uh you can take like a boat it's free you can just take the pond uh, right over the water um it takes you about 5 to 10 minutes it's actually pleasant because you get to see a fun part of amsterdam and there is this entire part of Amsterdam that used to be industrial. Um, and they are transforming it into homes and um, uh, like going out areas. So a lot of bars, a lot of pubs. And it's really, really cool. It's It looks super cool. It's really modern. Um, and it's actually one of the lesser known areas of Amsterdam. So not many tourists go there yet. So it's a little bit quieter than, let's say, the, the Dom. Because that is so crowded. Um, so that's definitely something I can recommend and it's really, really nice. Um, and there is a lot of fun places to eat as well. So that would be like my number one tip for when you're in Amsterdam to, uh, to visit that part. And I will think of if I, if I can, uh, come up with any other good ideas. Well, obviously, if you have the time... It's only an hour by train. You should come to Rotterdam. Because that's the best city of the Netherlands. It's, um... This is a very biased opinion because I've lived there my entire life. But, uh... uh Rotterdam is, is genuinely actually pretty cool. Because it's nothing like any other city in the Netherlands. Because it was bombed during the Second World, World War. So our entire city was just, like, floored. Wiped out. There are some buildings left, like some parts of the city that are still old, but most of it had to be rebuilt. So every building in our city is um, from after 1970. Like that's when they really started rebuilding stuff and so. Um, because first they had to clean up the entire mess. Um, and uh, we have like a bunch of modern buildings. Like the entire city center, we have a, like a lot of skyscrapers and stuff. So it really has that new york feel and vibe to it um so if you have the time to travel to another city i would highly recommend um going to rotterdam as well because it's it's just really cool um, okay i'm still going to have to decide on windows haven't i mm. And also stairs, like something that fits with the vibe. What I struggle most most with in this build is actually um, not only the the vibe of this building, but also the colors. Like every time I think I find something that matches with the vibe of the building, I struggle to find the right color of it. I also have the feeling that this is higher. But then the whole inside should be higher as well. Okay. And then the door. Quite different in real life. Ah, okay. Cool. So you're actually going to... Um, oh, you're going to Amsterdam to have a business meeting about that for your lounge. That makes total sense. I mean, I think, especially in Amsterdam, there should be plenty of people uh, who uh, know how to run a lounge like that. So there's there are plenty of experienced people. Um, let me see. Again, I have to find a door that isn't like too... Because this feels too grand for this house it's way cheaper in the netherlands i can totally imagine that i totally believe that like right from the bat i totally believe that i i don't think it's it's expensive here 
at all. Like, I don't even have, like, a, a frame of reference to another country or anything. But it's just, I already don't find it very expensive here. I think it's funny, though, that um, for so many people, it's such a weird topic. While for me, it's, like, super normal because I live in the Netherlands and it's totally legal here. So, um, I can't imagine that if there are people watching right now that are usually not used to uh, drugs or anything being legal. I think it's it's funny to think about that. Mm, maybe something like this. That's too red. It's just, again, like this door handle feels like a little too much. But then this door... Hey, Manolia Lunar, thank you for following. Welcome in. How are you doing today? And today I have two bots in my chat because I turned on a new one and I forgot to turn off the old one. So you got three thank yous for following from me and from two bots. Welcome in. Um, maybe this door is actually the best. I don't know. I know there is a scene where they're like sitting on the stairs. Um, and maybe I can see the door if I look up that scene a little bit. Um, so here I can see the stairs. Hmm, I'm looking at all of these like behind the scenes pictures from Outlander now. It looks like they have a similar door like this on this side, actually. Oh, it's floating, obviously, because we put platforms on the inside. Okay, so maybe that's the thing. Maybe we have to make, like, the grounds higher up on this side. Um, let me see. Okay, I have a picture with the stairs. They actually have a pretty grand door. Here, let me quickly show it to you guys. Um, open a new tab. Here, let me quickly toggle it on. Oh, I opened the wrong... Well, that's fine. You can still see it. <laughs> it's actually from TripAdvisor because you can visit this causeway. If, you, if you're ever in the UK, I highly recommend going to Scotland. Um, but... See, this is like the door that I was talking about earlier on the side. And this is the door. Um, so it's actually, it's pretty grand with like the part on top. So I might actually try to do something similar. And I also have the feeling that this part is higher up and this part is lower. So I might do that here as well, like make this lower. And then, oh no, I forgot to actually finish the wall. Okay, so now it's a separate room. Okay, so now that should be, yeah, so this is now on like floor level, ground level. Um, but you see like, I can take around 10, yeah. Um, wow. That is crazy. I think it it's so beneficial though that like from Denmark to the Netherlands, I don't think it's even that far. So if you can take that amount back and then um, sell it for more and like make good profit of it, then it's totally worth the trip and coming over here. I think um, it's what a lot of people do with gas here. Uh, we go to the to Belgium because gas is way cheaper in Belgium than if we buy it here. Uh, so people just just quickly go over the border, tank, like fill up their their car, and then drive back because it saves so much money. But it makes total sense for you to do that as well. I think like in old houses like this, it makes a lot of sense to have indoor stairs as well. In a month, wow, four to five boxes. That is that makes you good money though. Sounds like a solid bis business. Uh, 
I want to change because I don't like the border. I want it to be as wide as the stairs, but I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. See, it's still not as wide. Wow. That's more money than I make. And I have a full-time job. <laughs> I'm not saying that your job isn't full-time, by the way. Um, because I can only imagine how much time it takes to run a bar or, an, or a bar or a lounge or anything like that. I used to work in hospitality, so I used to work in a restaurant. Um, and it would take a lot of time to set it up. And especially after all, all the guests leave, you have to close down. You have to clean up. You have to put everything back into place. So I know that it takes a lot of time to to uh, run a lounge. Nothing you don't do much. Oh my god, you're such a lucky person. I think it also, it, I can imagine it can also feel like not doing much because you really enjoy what you're doing. I think that's such a huge part of um, being able to, to feel like you're not busy is if you enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, I can imagine it's tiring with long evenings. To be honest, I had that when I was working in the restaurant. Um, it, it's, it's not even that I didn't like working in the restaurant. It was just usually up until so late. And then I did have university class during the day. And then working late until sometimes like 1 or 2 at night. And then obviously a lot of friends there. So they ask you to go for a drink after. And yeah, then you go. You turn into bed way too late, and then you realize that you have school in the morning. <laughs> I've done that too many times than I would like to admit. Yeah. Also that, you know, I don't take what I use myself. Yeah. I can imagine that makes a difference as well. But like you say, if it if it pays your bills and it, it gives you enough money to just live off, then it sounds like like everything you want, right? Um Yeah. Hiring people. Then you'll see some time of that investment back, right? Then you'll have um, some time to um, actually take some time off as well. Even though I can imagine it must be really difficult, I can, like, if I were to have my own business, at first, hiring people sounds really great, and then you have to let them do the work and, like, let them run the business. I would, I would struggle with that, but I'm a teeny tiny bit of a control freak. Wow, you're only 20 still. You're doing really well for yourself. Like, legitimately, you're doing really well for yourself. I'm impressed. I do like this door. I think it fits the vibe. I'm just not sure if I like the colors that much. I like this brown better, but... For now, this is good, I think. And maybe I want to make this a little bit smaller. Like, I wish we could do half tiles. It all comes with an idea. That is so true. That is so true. All you need is one good idea. You only struggle with that again. Sometimes it takes so long to get that good idea. Um... It feels dangerous not to have like a railing, but I, I feel like the a house from this time wouldn't have a railing for such a small step. Okay, I, I do want to put a fence. Ooh, this, this is too modern, I think. Yeah, that's too modern. I mean, I like the brick, but like especially the sides, it's not from that time. I think I'm going to use the new one. This one. I think this is this is totally what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put it all the way around the perimeter. Because then that would be like their grounds. That makes any sense. Like 
that. Yes, I have actually. <laughs> um, I used to smoke a lot when I was in high school. Um, like weed, but also just regular cigarettes. And then I didn't do it for quite a while, but I actually did it again recently. Um, but just way more casual. Like when I was younger, I used to do it way more often. Um, but like I said, it's so normal here. So many people do it that what I hear from a lot of friends, also like maybe English or American friends, they get very, very excited about the topic. Um, while for me, it's more something like, yeah, I did that and I, I used to do it. And um, for them, it's like, oh, whoa, really? You did that? So I think there's so, such a big difference in how you experience the topic and how you value it. Like for you, it's a business. For me, it's something that I I just used to do and still do a couple of times. And for other people, it's like that thing that they were never allowed to do. And it's like cheeky to do and stuff. So um, I think it's funny to see how different people feel about the topic. You've never smoked a cigarette. Keep it that way. <laughs> um, it's really addictive. And the weird thing is, I don't think it's the nicotine that is addictive. Um, because I didn't have any physical struggles when I quit smoking. It is, it is just as bad. Totally. There's just a difference. I have a, like, what I feel like is cigarettes are really accepted to like train smoke or chain smoke, like just grabbing one after the other, even if you're just waiting for the bus. And it's more of an activity than uh, with like um, uh, weed or maybe drinking a beer or drinking wine. Um, I feel like there's still a fundamental difference in how people use it. And for many people, also what I hear from my friends that either used to smoke or still smoke, smoking cigarettes is, it, it really quickly turns into a habit. So you find yourself in winter times, standing outside in like minus 10, your fingers are freezing off and you don't even know why you're there. You're not enjoying the cigarette. It isn't giving you any comfort. It isn't putting you in like either a chill vibe or anything. It's literally just smoking because you're a smoker. Um, and I had to quit last November because I got a surgery on my wrist. So for the recovery of that, the doctor said, you better quit because it will make your recovery one, go way faster and two, um, probably will have less complications. So I had to quit. Since then, I think I smoked weed once or twice. And I think I smoked one cigarette at some point. And I remember lighting that cigarette and thinking to myself like, what am I doing? It's just, it's just a bad habit. It doesn't bring you anything. Yeah, I get that. They do go hand in hand. That is true. Smoking weed and smoking cigarettes do go hand in hand. Yeah. It's easy if you do one to also do the other. Yeah, it's actually really funny. My boyfriend had, um, he has never smoked a cigarette. So the other day we were going to smoke a weed and uh, he never properly learned how to inhale. <laughs> so I had to teach him. That's pretty cute actually. Okay, I'm really gonna have to decide on Windows because I've been postponing it for like 30 minutes. Mm, something like, oh, those are too small. Like, this vibe is really what I'm going for, though. It's just too small. I wish it was bigger. What other windows did we get with the new pack? I think these are really nice, but again, they're, they're just a little small. On the other hand, it looks like the windows in the picture also are a little small. You don't really inhale. Oh, I do actually, but that might be the smoker in me. 
because I, once you smoke cigarette, your lungs are just ruined anyway, so it's more of like a reflex to inhale. Mm, I think I like these, to be honest. They match with the vibes. Mm. They look old enough. They do look a little bit classy, though, with like the ornaments, like the curls around the edges. Mm. Ooh, I like that, actually. It's sad that we don't have, like, we have these. And then we have the bigger one in the middle. I would like to create, like, a three-piece one. Does that make any sense? Like, again, I'm doing windows before I'm doing the floor plan. That's also really dangerous. But I might just take out these and then just place these. Because I like the idea of having the shutters. Ooh, and those come with, like, a darker wood as well. Okay, yes, this is what I'm doing. I've decided. This matches with the vibes really, really well. Yeah, I think that is what I usually, when I smoke, that, that is what I smoke. Like the one where it's mixed. I think that's the most regular that you, you get here when you uh, buy like a, also a pre-rolled one. That, that's just what you get. It's always a mix. But I can imagine if it's like pure, then you, you don't want to go for the inhaling because then it's going to be hella strong. Okay, that looks nice, although I feel like it looks a little bit like a pub because of the shutters. I really cannot make up my mind. Um, I have a feeling that maybe Get Together also has some really good ones. Get Together. I'm just quickly going to take off my sweater because I've been in this room for like two hours and it's starting to get really, oh no, I lost one of my earbuds. <laughs> Put it over there. I got these new earbuds and um, they're uh, like touch sensitive. So I'm really scared when I put them in that I pause my music. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's I think for us the difference because it's it's completely legal. We don't we don't have to hide it or play it in a way that it's not weed because it's just totally accepted here. I think these windows might actually make more sense. Again, the colors are just off. But I think this does make more sense with the house. It looks older. And this door then also needs to be like the lighter shade. Again, really not the right color, is it? And I'm thinking I might want to do like raise this one and then just make this slightly higher with the train tools. So we get a lif little bit of difference in height. Gives it a, a little bit of dynamic. That makes sense, right? To have a little bit of dynamic. Um. Oh no. I wanted to click on my stream lapse and it just totally froze. I'm, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that it's not actually freezing my stream. Oh no. It just, it entirely froze. Okay, I really, I really hope it's not freezing my stream. I really hope that you can still watch my stream fine and I'm just gonna continue building and hope that it will pick up in a few seconds and, and be fine. 
Um, no, that's the train paint. I wanted to use the train tools. Make it a little bit less big. And then I want to do that. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Because there is a platform in the inside, I... I cannot do the train tools? That doesn't make any sense. What if I make that lower again? Ah, uh, hmm. Okay, so this is still completely frozen. I'm just quickly going to open up my... <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Oh no, but welcome in Dynamic Echoes. Um, I really hope that you can hear this. <laughs> um, it's, this sucks. I don't know why it is frozen. Oh, wait. It looks like it's back. Okay, yes, it's back. We're good. We're good. At least on my side. So please... The ones that are in chat, let me know if it's good on your side as well. Um, I don't know what happened. It just froze up on me. Um, like, I couldn't see my uh, timer and anything go up anymore. And, like, my image just froze and everything. But welcome in, Dynamic Echoes. I'm really glad to have you here. How are you doing? Um, I am building the uh, house from Outlander. So, Ladybrock. It's one of the castles. And uh, I feel like it really matches with the vibe of the new pack. So I'm trying to build it in The Sims. And so far I have been um, struggling quite a bit with selecting the right color scheme, the right bricks. Um, so in the picture, the, the building is actually a little bit more reddish, but we don't have a brick that matches with that. Um, and currently I'm trying to fix the fact that um, I have a platform on the inside and I wanted to make a little bit of um, dynamic in, in the grounds. But for some reason the platform is preventing me from using the train tools. So I'm trying to figure that out. Nice! Oh, I really... At some point I will probably go to Denmark, either for work or, like you say, on holiday. So I will definitely... Definitely uh, send you a message then, because it would be super fun to do that and, and come hang out at your lounge. Um, okay, I'm just going to go back to making this flat. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Chicola, for following. I really appreciate it. And you too. You, ju got, you just got three thank yous today. It's a very special day, so everyone who follows today is get three thank yous. Um, it does feel weird to add a platform that goes all the way around like that. We can test it now. We can see if... See, it prevents you from adding it, like, right uh, next to it, which is sad, because that would would make perfect sense. Because then you can sort of hide the platform. Because this just, just looks ridiculous. So I think we're just gonna keep it the way it was. Like on the inside, it'll just have three up here, like three heights, and then be all, all the way down there. Um, and I'm also doubting if I wanna keep this door at all. 
Like in the original building on the picture, it actually has. Um, really? Am I that stupid? <laughs> I'm gonna check it. Wait a second. I'm gonna check it. I'm I might as well be. Um It's August 7th. <laughs> I have to change it then. Well, obviously after today's stream today is less relevant, but I might as well just take today off and then check all the other dates. <sighs> Thank you for letting me know. Um I actually struggled a lot to set a schedule. I found it pretty difficult to make choices because I have a full-time job. So um, I had to like find something that works with my full-time job as well. Um, so thank you for letting me know because it would have been kind of awkward if there are more mistakes in there, which there might as well be. And then people would be waiting for me streaming and then I would just be working in. So thank you. I really appreciate it that you let me know. <laughs> Um, that's the thing with like, if you get just, no, I didn't want to delete those. If you just get one uh, day off, then it's like, is it Saturday the 7th or Sunday the 8th? Which one is it? And it's actually my first weekend stream too. So it's not like you could have gone from past streams or experiences on this one. Hmm. Okay, now I find it difficult. Like on the inside, these make sense. Like in height, they're sort of in the middle of the wall. But then these feel... They're also in the middle of the wall though. Oh, you checked it? That's really cute, thank you. Okay, then I might just delete today's date and re-upload it with like the new days. I feel like it is realistic for a castle from this time to just have very teeny tiny windows, but it just looks really sad. Oh, I forgot about these windows. <gasps> They're a lot bigger. I might add these like on the back of the house. Okay, now I'm starting to doubt my, my window choices yet again. Um, so, yes. We're going to change the windows. <laughs> but this, I promise, it's going to be the last time. Yes. Well, this still... Isn't there a lighter version? Hmm. Okay. So it's either really dark. But I don't use that dark brown anywhere. So then it's probably just going to be this color. And then this only doesn't make any sense, but ignoring it. We might actually add like the large windows on this side. Or maybe just, maybe we can do the large windows downstairs because that's where like the dining area and the, the parlor and everything's going to be. And then upstairs is going to be bedrooms. Yes. Okay. I've made my choice. My name. <laughs> is it interesting? In what way is it interesting? I'm really curious to hear now. Is it like because it's super not English or is it because I have a... <laughs> yes, okay. Um, the meme? Okay, m maybe I'm missing out on something which is very probable. Is there a meme about my name? <laughs> and otherwise, if it's the, the PH, um, you say it as an F. Jose the horse. Do I know this? I don't think I do. 
but I'm very intrigued to Google it right now. And, okay, if you... <laughs> I don't think... I don't think I know this meme. But after stream, I'm gonna look at it up some more because I really, really like memes. And especially if it has to do with my name, because then I'll probably not hear it just once. <laughs> That's good if I know. It's good if I know the meme. It's good if I know what people are talking about. Um, but um, I didn't know there was a meme. It's actually um, uh, Josephina, but then with PH. It's spelled that way. It's my mother's name. And it sounded good with my name. So I decided to use it together as my username. Okay, so now we have many windows. Again, no windows on this side. But we also don't have any windows on this side. Because in the original picture, they don't have windows on that side. So I think I'm just going to keep that. I think it is time to do the... <laughs> I know, right? It's very cute. I think I, I haven't actually... Um... Oh, you actually checked my videos. Thanks. I know, right? But to be fair, I didn't know until like one or two weeks before I made that video. I just found it out very recently. Um, and I don't even know if I currently have them in my game. Does it actually work? Yes. I can quickly show you. Um, I, I say I can quickly show you and now I'm doubting if I have them in my game. This is like the standard map. No, I don't have them in my game right now. But I think um, my 100 baby challenge, like those videos, I do have them in game. I, I have them installed usually. Uh, but obviously since we recently had the new pack and like all the updates and stuff, I really, I haven't gotten to updating all my mods and fixing everything be because some things broke. Um, and I haven't really gotten around to fixing everything, so I just updated my most important mods, so like UI cheats and stuff like that. <laughs> it's really funny when I talk about this challenge and people are like, what, wait, 100 babies? Say again. Um, and we'll explain in a second. Um, but I haven't really gotten around to updating all my mods, so I haven't put them back in my game, but they work perfectly fine, and I have like a ton of mods, ton of custom content in my game, and... It just runs really well. They actually didn't slow my game down at all. I expected them to slow them slow my game down a lot because I used to use reshaders as well, and those just made my game incredibly laggy. Um, and these worked like a charm. The only thing I had to do was just drop them in my mods folder. That was everything, and it just replaced the the original picture, and it looked really great from like from the bat off. So I I can really recommend using them. Um, yeah, so dynamic echoes, 100 babies. <laughs> um, it's actually a challenge. It's a gameplay challenge in The Sims where you uh, start off with one mom and the goal is to have 100 babies. Not necessarily with that one mom, but you have to get as far as you can with that first mom. And as soon as that mom is too old to get more kids, you move on to her youngest daughter. Um, and... Uh, the concept is actually very straightforward. That's all you have to do. You just have to make 100 babies. There's one rule. She cannot have uh, the same baby daddy twice. So you constantly have to meet a new guy and then flirt with him, make him fall in love with you and then make a baby. It's kind of a weird challenge. When I first heard about it, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, but it is actually really challenging. I've played The Sims for quite some time already. Most of it was building though, but also gameplay. I've done a lot of gameplay already and I wanted to, to do something that actually challenged my sim skills rather than just doing another, oh, this is a nice cute family that does every holiday perfectly because I've done it 20 times already. So I really wanted to do something to challenge myself. Um, and I made a, a series out of it on my YouTube channel. I think I'm like... Right now, episode five or six just went online, but I have multiple episodes scheduled for the coming weeks already. And I can say that it is challenging my sim skills. I, it's difficult. 
having five or six kids at the same time in your house. And I'm only at like baby number six. Five. I don't even remember where I'm at right now. But yeah, it's challenging my sim skills. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a weird challenge. It's interesting. Yeah, to say the least. You had all the packs at some point, but my account was hacked. Oh no. That really sucks. All the packs. That's like an insane invest investment as well. Oh, I'm really sorry that happened to you. That I, I, I couldn't imagine that happening to me. Like, I also have all the packs except for Batu. I do not own Batu. I don't have an interest in owning Batu. I actually, I love Star Wars, but. I don't intend to use it in The Sims. It's I saw reviews from that pack and it it's nothing that I'm interested in. Um, <laughs> but um, I also have all the packs and I would actually be really, really sad if, if I got hacked and everything went away. So um, I'm really sorry that happened to you. That really sucks. I'm really hoping that someday you manage to get it back because... I mean, don't get me wrong, playing with just base game it's also a lot of fun. I do a lot of base game challenges where I just um, build with base game. And actually Seasons is one of the better packs. So you are already like well, uh, well set on playing the game. But it sucks. Especially if you already bought everything. And you, you, just, you just lost it all. Because yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Same for you, Dynamic Echoes. Also with the Batu or something else. But you don't have the time. Oh, maybe you were referring to that. You don't have the time to play that. Yeah. To be fair, I thought I would play a lot more now that I do Twitch and that I do YouTube. But actually preparing stuff for YouTube videos and preparing um, stuff for streaming and it actually takes quite a lot of time also editing videos takes a surprising amount of time not that i didn't expect it to take any time it's just it takes more time than i expected i think um so i'm actually playing less of the game because i used to spend so much of my free time on playing the sims or any other game for that matter and now i just spend a lot of my free time preparing or editing <laughs> oh cool yeah fine Enjoy the birthday party at the lounge and uh, have a really great day for what's uh, left of it. It's so early, so I'm assuming that in Denmark, quick math, it's also 6.30. So uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye. Um, I wanted to do a pathway. And I actually sacrificed putting the building on... A platform for this pathway so we're gonna have to do it we're gonna have to make it um, I only recently heard for the first time that if you do this you have like the the spray paint noise I never heard that before okay so just like that and then the pathway goes all the way up to here Oh no. I always find it so difficult to use the <laughs> the train paint and stuff because I want to be super precise, but I also want it to look natural. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think that's nice if I just get rid of this bit here. Um no, that's too far. Let me just put it down. Maybe I can. Yeah, that's better. And then that way it's a little bit more like curved coming from that side. Um, landscaping for this build will probably take like forever. Which I think is fun though. Like I like the idea of having... Spending a lot of time on one build. 
This is a different... Not? No, it's the same. Just look different on that side for some reason. I want it to be a little less soft. No, it is a different one, isn't it? Yes. It's like the color looks very pink. Okay. I think this looks relatively true to what we see on the picture. And then... I'm messing it up, aren't I? Um, just make it go all the way like that. And that makes sense. I feel like that looks pretty good. Or decent. Not good. Decent. Um, like it looks like a good path. And then I feel like on the picture they also have a path that is sort of like going to the right. Um... Is it not boring just to build? <laughs> I, I think it's actually a fair question because I think this is one of the great things about The Sims that um, it is such a diverse game. So if you think or don't enjoy building as much, um, then I, I can imagine this or not just this, but just building in general might be super boring. And if you're really into gameplay or storytelling, then um, I get that it it feels like just building for hours just gets really boring. Um, but on, I have like the exact same thought towards people that play with like one family for 10 generations, 20 generations. I am incredibly um, impressed by people that play with a family for such a long time because then I am like, doesn't that get really boring? Um, so no... Totally no offense taken because I think it's it's actually a valid question because it, it's just it depends a lot on personal preference and what you enjoy about this game but at the same time I think that is what makes this game so great to play that it's it suits a lot of people a lot of different um, uh, interest whether you're really into storytelling and you really enjoy creating like i i've seen some people that play with like families for 20, 20 generations that like fictionally start off in in the 1800s and then sort of work their way up to the modern times and that's all imagination like literally that's just people coming up with really good stories and this game really tailors to that and i think that's pretty cool but it's at the same time something that i could never do it's something that i would get really bored with um, while I have played this game for nearly 2,000 hours right now, most of that time was spent on building. I think a good 1,500 hours was spent on building. And first that was just learning how to build. Because in the beginning I sucked. Like if you go to my gallery and you check my older builds... Wait... Let, just just for the hell of it. Let's do this. Let's look up one of my older builds. So we can laugh about it together. Let me go all the way down. See? I've built a lot. <laughs> I can just scroll for a really long time. Yeah. So this is something I remember building this. Uh, I was with my best friend. I play a lot of Sims with my best friend. Because um, we, we've been best friends since we were like two years old. But... Um, actually, we, we, our friendship just grew a lot stronger as well since we started uh, playing Sims together because it's just basically hanging out, spending your free time, but also gaming together. And I built this. One, it's gigantic. Two, it's very weird looking. The, the window placement is like literally off on all sides. Um, so yeah, first for me was just learning how to build, um, not building a very square pool and placing a glass house on it. Um, so that was like, I think a good two to 300 hours was just getting good at building and getting good at using the tools that we have in the Sims. And I, I'm not tired of it yet. 
Have you tried it? Have you actually, like, have you played The Sims um, at all? Or have you ever built? Or are you more of a, a gameplay person? Um, I have the feeling that this path starts out pretty wide and then gets narrower. So I have to make it a little bit wider. Yeah, that makes more sense. Now it feels more even. No, now it feels too big on this side. I'm such a perfectionist. Like, I want it to be nice and even everywhere. <laughs> um, but that, look, that looks pretty fine. And then it feels like on the picture there is like a path going right and then probably going somewhere over here. Like a back entrance or something. Because this is obviously the main gate. Mm. So let me try to recreate that as well. So like it's a, a forked road that just goes two ways. And then I, what I really want to do is do like maybe some dirt just along the sides. Um, <laughs> I get that though. Cheating in The Sims, I think it's more of a standard than an exception. <laughs> I cheat very, very often. Um, I'm actually really struggling not to cheat in my current 100 baby challenge. Um, A little less soft but yeah I can totally understand if um, if you're building and it it doesn't excite you then um, I think that's one of the good things as well about the current version of this game is that we have the gallery so you can just download other people's builds and just enjoy playing and never focus on making a house I feel like it's not spreading as evenly as I would have hoped. I think what I should have done was first place the dirt and then place the lighter one over it. Hmm. They starved after 50 days. Wow, you had a lot of patience for waiting for that. There's actually a, an entire challenge surrounding that idea, that concept of marrying people and then letting them die. Uh, it's called the Black Widow Challenge. Um, it's it's pretty fun. I want to try it sometime. I'm not really sure if I'm like mentally ready, especially since I'm doing a 100 baby challenge, which is, which is sort of the complete opposite to doing the Black Widow challenge, because the Black Widow challenge is about killing as many sims as possible, while 100 baby challenges is about creating as many sims as possible. But the Black Widow challenge is mainly focused on, um, like, one female sim, and then you have to marry a guy and kill him. You cannot kill a guy or a uh, um, female person so, girl, I couldn't find the word for that. That was weird. My brain just had a full error. Um, you uh, you cannot kill, kill a guy or girl the same way twice. So if you, for instance, have someone eaten by a cow plant, you cannot do that again. If you have someone drown, you cannot do that again. So every time you have to find uh, a new way to kill your sims, and then you just marry the next one. And you live them with them for a while, and then you kill them off again. <laughs> That's basically the challenge. And then you have to see how far you can get. And I think it's mostly limited to um, the amount of deaths that are in the game. And there are actually people that play this challenge until they've had every single death. They build entire like dungeons in the basement uh, where they can play out every single form of death in The Sims. So death by flies, death by cow plant, death by drowning. I think it's uh, death by uh, piranhas in a piranha pond. All of them. 
See, I don't get. Some spots get really dark and others don't. Okay, so my album is done. And luckily this time it just switched to Stardew Valley music again. Rather than very weird music. We had that earlier in the stream. Um, for some reason, my um, Spotify just decided to shuffle some very random playlist that I didn't want to listen to. But I'm just going to cue the entire Stardew Valley album again. So that we know for sure that after this song, it's not going to just randomly pick another song again. I'm taking too long on this pathway, aren't I? Maybe if I just make it a lot less... I just feel like this is a little too dark. It's not subtle enough. Okay, I'm just giving up on this. I should have thought of this before I started to do like the lighter gravel. And it, it's not looking good. It's not doing anything for the pathway, to be honest. Um, okay, so then I think I will have to make a gate. We could use the new gate as well. Um, cottage living. And then use this one. I think it matches with the... Like with this brick. And with this brick as well really nicely. I'm doubting about the color scheme though. Again. That seems to be a theme in this challenge. I think I might do that. That one. Okay. Let me quickly save. I want to do some landscaping. Because I think right now it just looks a little bit sad. Um, let me see. Um, is the music a little bit too quiet for you guys? I can, I can turn it up, no worries. Um, it's difficult for me to estimate how loud stuff is for you guys. Because I can hear my music, like, obviously through my earbuds. Um, so for me, it sounds perfectly fine. But obviously, it has to be, like, aligned with how loud my voice is. And I can see it on my meters. But I know, like, back from listening streams and stuff, sometimes the music is really loud and sometimes really quiet. So please just let me know, because then I can easily adjust it. How is it right now? Is it better? Is it louder? <laughs> for me, it is, but... Um... Always let me know, because then I can ad adjust accordingly. Um, I believe this is where they, like, do the laundry in the show. Mm. I'm gonna look it up. Laundry. Cool. Happy to hear that. Um, I am looking for this one specifically. Uh, and then maybe like two. And then I know there is one in debug. I just don't know. A bat in the background. You mean in my room? Or you mean on screen? I'm really curious. <laughs> uh, PEX. No, I wanted to enable debug and live edit and then in my room. Did you mean cat? <laughs> because yes, if you meant cat, there are two cats in my room actually. Um, it's. I hope you can still hear me. I'm farther away from my mic. They um they both have their own chair. They're a little bit spoiled. A little bit. Um, and they have a, a bat on the wall. Oh, you mean my painting. Wow, okay. Brain is slow. It's weekend. Don't worry. Um, wait. Is bat slang for something that I don't know? Or do you just mean, like, is it representing 
a bat. Like literally. This is where you see that English is really not my first language. <laughs> oh, it's okay though, don't worry. <laughs> um, but, um, wait, can I show more of it? I think, I, I, I cannot zoom out any further. Maybe I have a picture of it. Like a better picture where you can see the entire wall painting. Um, quickly have to look it up. I think I have a painting or, or like a picture somewhere where you can actually see the entire wall. Um, here, this is uh, this is the entire wall. So it's it. Um, <laughs> no, don't worry, I don't mind. Um, this is the entire wall. It's um, it's supposed to be. You can see it in two ways. It's either. A sunset or a moon in the midnight sky it really depends on who I speak to or who is calling with me like video conferencing uh, one person is like oh no it's definitely the moon and the other person is like oh no it's definitely the Sun um, I like the idea that it's a little bit abstract um, but that's that's a painting of the of the wall I did it last year. This used to be a very boring, white, bland room. Um, and then we had to work at home because of a pandemic. Uh, and I got really frustrated with this room, like very, very quickly. Um, because it was just a white box and I had to work in it every day. And especially in the beginning of the pandemic where everyone had to really get used to the fact that we wouldn't see each other for quite a long time and a lot of my friends and colleagues they actually were very strict on the rules so no one wanted to meet up no one wanted to see each other in real life I also didn't by the way but like everyone around me was very strict with it so we all were like coping with the fact that we weren't going to see each other in real life and just sitting in a white box every day really made me sad like very very fast I got annoyed with my room we didn't have a good desk, we didn't have a good chair, we didn't have anything. This was like that one room in your house where, I'm not sure if you recognize this, but once you move house, you usually decorate most of the rooms. And you make sure that like your curtains and your couch and everything matches. And then there is that point where you have a lot of furniture that is too practical to throw away, but is not matching with the style of your new house. It isn't matching with your new furniture. It isn't matching with anything that you have and you don't necessarily need it right away. So you just put it somewhere. So, some people put it in storage. We put it in this room because this was basically our spare room. We thought, why not make it into like a home office? My boyfriend put his bass guitars here and we just decorated the room, but we never really used it. Like we used it sometimes when he wanted to play bass and I wanted to, I don't know, watch TV, he would go sit upstairs. But usually we, we didn't really use the room that much. But then obviously we had to start working from home. So we started to use this room every single day. And I was like, very soon, I was like, I'm done with it. This is not going to be the room that just contains all the stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. So I decided to fix it. And one of the things was doing uh, the painting on the wall. I did it with my uh, my little sister. She's a graphical designer, so she helped me with measuring it out and coming up with the concept and stuff because I just looked at a gazillion Pinterest pictures and then still had no idea what I wanted to paint on my wall and she helped me out a lot. Um, we did that together. We took like an entire weekend to do it. Um, okay, so using laundry as a search term isn't coming up with what I'm looking for. Mm. I know what I'm looking for. It's like, what is this called? Clothesline. Maybe if I, I think it is this. Yes. It is from uh, Island Living. I think it looks so cute. It's like it already has all the clothes on it. I like that idea. I also really like these mailboxes, although in probably in this time they, they didn't have mailboxes. Aw, thanks for following Dynamic Echoes. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome in. 
you were already here, obviously, but uh, officially welcome in. As you can see in chat, today we have two stream bots welcoming you. I forgot to turn off my old one when I had my new one turned on, so um, you get a triple thank you today. <laughs> um, I think this one makes sense to have, like it's where they keep the water and stuff, although it feels a little too modern for a, f because obviously Outlander plays in the 1800s. Let me take it out. It's too modern. Um, oh no, I went into like the rabbit hole of debug items that I could place. A toy bucket. Well, we're gonna keep that. Might come in handy on the farm. What if I just pex see the cottage living ones? <gasps> This is perfect. Like just for like filling the space. Like this this might be like a side building over here or something. Like it would be realistic to have some sort of storage, maybe like grain storage or maybe like a shed for, I don't know, your spare chickens? No, your chickens would be probably on the grounds. That would make a lot more sense. Okay, so they would have these milk things. Um, I like the idea of having, like, the, the cart fallen over. Um. Ooh, I might do that. I might replace this one. And then use the one that's already open. Because it's also, like, a tad wider. Um. Then I would have to, to redo the path a little. I think that looks really good, though. Um, oh, wait. Let me make it slightly bigger. Um, you have five chickens. In real life? Because to be honest, that's really cool. <laughs> I live in... Um, one of the more modern cities of the Netherlands, so I don't have any chickens, like any, nothing similar to it close by. So um, I think it's really cool that if people have like animals or, or small farm or stuff. Nice, that's cool. Do they have names? Did you name your chickens? I'm, I'm not even sure if that's a thing, but that's what the first thing, apparently my brain, that's the first question my brain came up with. Did you name your chickens? Oh, wow. A green, an almost green egg. As in, like, the shell is green? Or the inside is green? Um, I want to go back to the debug from the pack. You didn't. <laughs> to be fair, if you like live with um, animals all day, like for the, your entire life, I can imagine it's weird naming every single one of them. It's just my weird brain being like, "Ooh, if you have animals, you have to name them." <laughs> um, green as a shell. That's. I would be surprised too. I can understand why you are surprised by that. Um, I know that in Outlander they have like a graveyard. Like a family graveyard. So I think it would be nice to have that represented. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it right there or if I'm going to move it. But it makes sense to have it. But is it like bright green or more like a yellowish green? I'm really intrigued right now by green by the idea of green eggs. Um, that one we'll have to place like a bunch of plants around it here. Mm. <gasps> this is perfect. 
this matches so well. I think they have something very similar. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's actually... Um, like doors. Oh, that's sad. I thought it was just some... Cool structure. This clipping doesn't work. Okay, sorry. Getting rid of it. Light green. The kids in the neighborhood named them already. Do you know what names they have given them? I think something similar would also fit on the farm. Okay, I really like the idea of using these. Oh, this is what it belongs to. It's like the doors. And then we can have these. And then we could use this like as the where the animals can stay. Hmm. That's frustrating that it doesn't really fit. <laughs> you don't want to know. Google says it's healthy. Um, yeah. I can't imagine that you don't entirely trust that. Especially if eggs are green. That It feels like the wrong color. But maybe that's just because I know that here where I live, they actually recolor the um, egg yolk. Is it called the egg yolk? I think it is. Like the yellow part of the egg to make it, um, I believe, more orangey while they, um, uh, for, for the Germans, they make it more yellow or the other way around because it's what we prefer. Like if we have an egg that is too orange, people will say, oh, this egg isn't right anymore. It's not good anymore. We should buy new eggs, which is obviously really weird. And it's so weird that they started coloring the eggs, which is probably even weirder. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm. I wouldn't be too sure on like because if you have fresh eggs from a chicken, to be fair, they might be colored differently than the ones that I'm used to buying in a supermarket because those are probably modified, which is kind of worrisome when I think about it. They, they gave them boys' names and chickens are female. Yeah. Kids will be kids, right? I mean, that's what they do. <laughs> that's just how kids are. Um, okay, so I definitely want to have a chicken coop. I would prefer to have two sheds. They're just pretty big. We might be able to fit two. Hmm. That doesn't look too good. Let me see. Maybe if we do it like that. Yes, that looks better. And then we can place the chicken coop. Like right there. And then this is like there, just the area where they can walk around. <laughs> what a nice conversation, I love it. I'm happy that you like it. I'm happy that you're enjoying it. Just casually talking about chicken eggs on stream. Well, that's what you get from giving a farming pack to Simmers. Then we just take the conversation to weird places. Talking about green eggs and stuff. Um, oh no, my camera is acting up because I'm all the way on the top floor. Let me save, by the way. Okay. Mm is there anything else from this pack that we especially debug stuff because i know that the debug stuff from this pack is amazing uh, if we turn off the maxis content and we just see debug let me see mm. oh that's a grocery bag because we now have a grocer in the sims 
I really want to play something like this, but if I make it true to the time, if I make it true to like the time piece of being in the Outlander time, they wouldn't have had this because it's the 1800s. They wouldn't even have had electricity yet. Um, so I'm not going to use it. Going to be strong. Same goes for this. I mean, it looks super cute, but I wouldn't have had bikes yet. I was actually looking for that. And then maybe place one up top. And slightly tilt it. Just like that. See, that looks very organic and natural. <laughs> oh. No, my mother tongue is not English. Uh, it's Dutch. Actually. And I I know that in... Um, especially in some vowels. Although it's very hard for me to define which ones uh, they are. You can hear that it's my... Like my um, first language is in English. Although I speak a lot of English for work. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, because I work in an international company, an international IT company, and um, uh, I have a... Actually, my part of, of my job is to manage projects, but mainly international projects. So I work with people from all over the world. So America, Brazil, um, Norway, Denmark, Hungary. Uh, we even have one partner in Singapore. So I haven't had the pleasure of talking to them yet, but uh, yeah, I, I talk a lot of English during the day. So that helps actually, because I think if I didn't do that already, I would have found it way more difficult to have conversations in English all the time and just keep like narrating what I'm doing and keep thinking out loud uh, while streaming. If I had to do that in, in a language that I wasn't comfortable in, I think I would find it pretty difficult to be honest. Ooh, I like the flowers. That's cute. Okay, so then I think the pathway should go all the way over there as well. And then we should select the right one, with the right color. Mm. Just like that. I'm really improvising right now, by the way, because there are zero to no pictures of what this part of the uh, castle or farm or whatever um, looks like it. Oh, whoa, thank you. And really cool to hear that you speak German and Spanish. I had German uh, in high school. I sucked at it. <laughs> Was really not my best language. And I actually tried to learn Spanish last year, like one and a half year ago. I started right before the pandemic. Um, I took Spanish lessons. Lessons. That sucked. Lessons. See, that's where you hear I'm not English. Uh, lessons with my best friend uh, and, and her roommate. And we did like the first semester and it was super fun and we had an amazing time. And then the pandemic hit and we had to do all of our classes online. And our teacher was like the cutest, cutest teacher ever. She was such a sweet lady. She was really good at teaching, but she was relatively old. So moving to online classes literally meant that 80, 85% of the time was spent on her learning to how to use technology rather than us learning Spanish. So I decided not to continue to like the third semester because yeah, I wasn't getting anything out of it, but I did have a lot of like exercise in Spanish um, during that time. So I, I think if I were to watch like Spanish TV, I would still be able to understand some of it, not all of it. I have to be honest, like n not all, all of it, but I would still be able to understand some words. I actually had a plan to go to Barcelona last year to um, practice my Spanish. But then the pandemic hit and I had to cancel all of my travel plans. So I didn't. 
But I still really want to continue someday, like continue with learning Spanish and continue with practicing Spanish and going to Spain and... Because I think it's a really cool language. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's life goals, becoming an old lady that just loves to speak Spanish. I think it's actually, that was what my teacher was. She was just a, a Dutch woman who, um, she she went to Spain when she was younger. She didn't really have a clue about what she wanted to do with her life. She didn't really have a clue about what she wanted to become uh, for a job or anything. And she just went to Spain to learn Spanish. And I think she stayed there for like five or six years. And she just fell in love with the culture, fell in love with the language. And she ended up being a teacher, but the reason she was such a good teacher was because she was just really passionate about Spain and she was really passionate about Spanish culture and she was just really passionate about teaching other people the language. Um, and I think that was what made her class super fun to go to. Um, okay, we need some plants over here because it looks kind of sad. But is your first language then German or Spanish or is your first language English and do you have a second language or like second and third language. I absolutely love these flowers. We're going to use them. Maybe make them a little bit smaller. They're quite big. You speak over five languages? Wow. But like fully speak five languages? Two mother tongue languages? That's cool. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be in a position where I'll, I will have to raise my children bilingual because me and my boyfriend both just speak Dutch. Um, but... I think that's so cool though. So what is your mother tongue like or your true mother tongues? Mm, let me see. What do I want to do? Maybe some, like, random patches of grass. Looks a bit odd, but it would make sense. Like, it makes it just look a little bit more alive. Okay. I was actually working on this part where they can do the laundry and then I got really super distracted. Um, I do want to use a different color. I think that's better. That's too red. No, this is actually red. I'm doubting now because I don't like the combination of the two and I just like the ones with clothes a lot more to be fair so I think I'm just gonna use this twice and then they don't have a functional uh, clothing line Arabic that's pretty cool though my aunt she could she was fluent in uh, Arabic um, which you wouldn't expect because she was a very, she died a few years back. That's why I said was, um, but she was a very tall, like legitimately very tall, like one meter and 90 centimeters or something. So for a female person, very, very tall, a uh, lady with very white blonde hair. Um, and, uh, she first studied art, decided that wasn't really what she liked. Then she studied architecture, found out that that was something that she really enjoyed, but it wasn't really, it was very um, mathematical and like, 
like hard side of, of stuff and she wanted to do something more like culturally um, uh, founded and stuff like that. So she started to learn Ar uh, Arabic and uh, she became actually an expert on uh, Yemen uh, for our country. Uh, she was really, it was really cool when she started speaking Ar uh, Arabic, especially because it was so not what you would have expected when you saw her. Okay, so German, C2, yeah. Level Spain, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. It's really nice uh, collection of languages. Especially if you ever want to learn more languages, this is a really good base to build from because having like German and Spanish and English and uh, uh, Arabic, I really try to say that the right with like the, I really don't know how to say it in English. Putting like focus on the right part of the word. Um, but I think those are, they, they form a really good basis for if you ever want to learn another language, because in every different language, probably apart from like Asian languages, you'll find something that you can recognize from one of the other languages that you already speak. So that's pretty cool. Um, I quickly want to correct something here and then I want to finish the area with the laundry. And then I think, um... I will see who I am going to raid today. Because I have already been live for three hours and I know that my boyfriend is already making dinner because I can smell it. It's starting to smell really good. Um, so uh, we'll have to see who all is live. But first I wanna do a little bit more landscaping here. Just give it a little bit more life. And I think I'm just going to place these items here because I want to use them when I continue this build. Um, let me see. Maybe just some simple bushes along the side. Um, let me see if they're not clipping on the inside. Yes, they are very much clipping on the inside. Still clipping on the inside. Okay, now it's fine. So that looks really nice. You know what we could do? We could like put them a little bit tilted and then add like the, the washing uh, tub thingy from laundry day. Uh, let me see, where is it? Laundry day. No, I don't stream for the uh, for the whole night. I, uh, one, I don't have the stamina to do that, uh, because I don't know why, but always after a while, I get a really sore throat and literally my throat has to recover for a while. Um, but also, uh, because I already work full time, I noticed that I really, really love streaming and I really love making YouTube videos. But it also takes a certain amount of energy and that besides like 40 hours of work each week, I also need like some form of weekend or evenings. So um, I'm probably just gonna chill with my boyfriend and maybe watch a movie. Actually, it's pretty nice weather. So we might go outside, have like a beer in a local pub or something um, and just hang out and enjoy my night as well. Um, but I do uh, stream again this Wednesday. Uh, I actually have a schedule in my about panels. Uh, so if you want to come back and hang uh, at that time, you're super welcome to. I usually, my plan is to stream from like four until seven ish. Uh, so um, maybe sometimes I will stream a little bit early if I'm done early uh, with work, or maybe I'll stream a little bit later uh, if I'm done later, but usually I'll th stream around three to three and a half hours. Uh, and I've actually made the schedule to make sure that I stream weekly because I really enjoy streaming and I noticed that if I don't schedule it, then some things will just get in the way and for some reason um, stream just gets sacrificed, I feel. Um, which is a shame because uh, I think it's just a lot of fun to hang out with you guys, to learn about you, um, to hang out with people in chat, to meet new people and to uh, in the meantime play a game. 
so uh, I really enjoy that. And I think it's time we pass on that uh, that feeling, that love. Um, oh, I will. I will say hi to him from you. Um, I really wanted to raid someone that uh, I enjoy watching. And I'm gonna have to see if uh, she is still alive. Okay, she is still alive. Um, I would really like to take you guys on a raid to Sorusness. Sorusness is the cutest being on the internet, like literally. She's also a cat lady. She has six cats. She also plays The Sims, but sometimes also Stardew Valley. And I know that she also plays a lot of Red Dead Redemption, which I find highly funny because it's a game that only my boyfriend plays and I haven't played before. So I think it's funny that she plays both The Sims and Red Dead Redemption. Um, she has super cozy vibes, she's super chill, and I just really, really enjoy watching her stream. So I would love to take you guys there, and I hope you're coming with me on this raid. So I'm gonna start the raiding party. Um, you can join the raid, it, we will automatically go there in six seconds. Um, it will go there, so if you just stay in chat, you, will, you should go with us to the raid. So we will raid now, and... Uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you a lot for hanging out with me.